Good morning. It's another warm, sunny day here. Um, looks like it's going to be another very hot morning or day again today. I'm just sitting at Main Dam, as you can see uh, behind me. Just been sitting here the last while, listening out for any line audio. Nothing yet. Uh, I'm going to probably go south again this morning. The south's been good to us the last while. And I've also heard reports that the Pungwe pack of wild dogs has crossed into the Manjaleti. So I'm going to go and see if I can find those wild dogs. Maybe we get lucky with a Talamati or another pride of lions down there. So yeah, let's slowly start uh, heading south and let's see what it's got in store for us this morning. Well wow, guys, sorry for that bumpy introduction, but yeah, I managed to find a, a group of wild dogs. I'm not sure if it's the group of wild dogs I'm looking for. I was looking for the Pungwe pack. Um, I'm just going to see uh, which pack this is. I've counted 16 dogs so far. Alright, so it is definitely the Pungwe pack. There you can see the alpha female with that canine. Quite predictable in their movements here through the Manuleti. That's why I came up to check this area around Pod Mahogany. Last time they came in from the Sabi Sands, they ran up all this way up to this Pod Mahogany area and then carried on west from there. So that's why I just came to check here. So luckily we bumped into them again. The last time the Pungwe pack was in the Manuleti was 7 adults, 11 pups. From what I've heard they have lost I think a couple pups in the Sabi Sands. So I'll just do a count here. I think I did see 16 when they are all running around chasing those Impala. Looks like they have eaten this morning. That's why they weren't fully committed to that hunt. Um, the Impala were running around chasing each other and I think that just sort of uh, got the dogs going. are very playful this morning as always so this is the alpha pair of the pack and for me this male has always been an incredibly loyal dog to this pack not just to this female but um, to the pups to the rest of the pack I remember when they were denning He'd always be the first dog back into the den, calling the pups out. He'd always be on the lookout for danger, look out for other predators, and always making sure those um, pups were well fed. So he's not only very loyal um, and affectionate to this female, like we can see here, but also to the rest of the group. So a very good dominant animal of the pack. A lot of you will probably wonder when they're going to be breeding again. So they usually start to mate between the months of sort of February to April. And then after a gestation of about 70 days, the female will start to, um, and the pack itself will, will start to look for a den. And then they'll set up a den for the next three months. So we'll only see new pups again in uh, the middle of next year, uh, when they usually den throughout the winter. It's often said to be done um, as a lot of the impalas are going to their rut, the males. A lot of them are weakened, so it helps these dogs with picking off weak individuals. But to be honest, they're always on such a mission at that time looking to feed the pups, uh, feed the female, so pretty much anything that comes by is always fair game for them. You can see these dogs are still very interested in these impala. The impala behind us keep running around 
The males keep chasing the females. They keep also looking out for the little lambs. So I'm sure they're going to be interested here the whole day. These impala are always in this open clearing here. I have two vehicles joining me shortly and then I'll leave the dogs. Obviously the reserve just has mostly South African guests at the moment and South Africans love seeing wild dogs. So uh, this will make them all really happy on the game drive vehicles. Which are great. But great to catch up with the Pungo pack again. Nine pups, still, uh, still very good for them. Actually more than good. White back vulture up in a dead tree here. You might also hear the sound of two eagles flying above us, Warburg's eagles. Like we spoke with the bataliers the other day, making use of a dead tree to perch on. So finally this female stopped moving. What a beautiful leopard. Very relaxed, she's walked past the vehicle a couple of times. Incredibly beautiful eyes on this animal. I think I've seen this female only once before on one of the main roads. Um, but I haven't seen her after that and I'm pretty sure this was her. Because that one was also very relaxed, similar area. We are right in the middle of the reserve. For me, this must be a leopard that originated from the Sabi Sands. So there's some red bull woodupus going crazy here. But yeah, she's so relaxed, she must be from the sands. Quite a young leopard, still a young female. Just settle down now, it's very hot this morning despite being very windy, the winds are incredibly strong. I'm not sure who this leopard could be, I'll have to ask the leopard expert James Richard who, who she is. But one thing that I saw now, is she is uh, marking territory, I don't know if you saw her earlier lifting the tail, spraying, so that means she's scent marking, marking territory. So it's a good sign that she's already set up territory here and, and looking to stay. Which is great news, we need another female leopard in this area, a relaxed one. If I judge her age, it's probably around three years maybe. So I might start breeding within the next year. There's a herd of impala, massive herd of impala further off to the right here. There's lots of youngsters. What she's looking at here. It's pretty open, so I don't think she'll attempt to hunt now. It's also, like I said, very, very warm. But it is windy, and the wind can often help these predators. What a stunning animal. With a long tail. 
Beautiful R's, beautiful markings. So this is incredibly exciting just to be able to find a leopard like this. I actually haven't had a leopard walk past my vehicle in quite some time. It's a great feeling and I'm just glad we got to spend time with this female this morning and hopefully we will for a long time to come here. This is that big herd of impala I was telling you about. They're not too far from the leopard, but they are slowly moving away from her. A lot of youngsters in this herd. We call them nursery herds at this time of the year because a lot of the youngsters are grouped together. But with it uh, being so windy, just look how incredibly windy it is. The youngsters, actually all the herd, will stay quite close together. They are quite vulnerable in this wind. They can't really smell too well. The noise is very confusing. So it's actually good conditions for this leopard to maybe hunt you know, not too not too long from now she might f continue to follow this herd these are called crown plovers or in South Africa we call them kivits crown lapwing is the new name but we often find these guys on the ground and they nest on the ground and are some of the bravest mothers or parents you'll ever find because their eggs are on the ground they'll dive bomb pretty much any animal whether it be a cat or an elephant that comes near their nest and will try and protect them as best they can I've even seen them stand above the nest with wings spread trying to stop a whole herd of buffalo which obviously they couldn't but just shows you what they'll go to to try and protect their eggs and their chicks that's their call in the background. I'm going to end the drive off here at Wild Dog Dam. It's been an incredibly windy but uh, very, very exciting morning. Spent most of the morning with the dogs and also that female leopard. I'm very excited about that female leopard. Great to have a relaxed leopard, especially a female, back in the Manuleti. Um, I'll uh, try and find out if I can see where she's come from. But yeah, what a, a special sighting and like I said, very exciting to have a very relaxed female like that. It's been a great week. Uh, a lot of uh, great sightings, different highlights pretty much seen all the Magnificent Seven. If you don't know what the Magnificent Seven is, that's the Big Five plus Wild Dog and Cheetah and uh, a lot of other interesting sightings thrown in there. So yeah, great week and uh, we'll do it all again next week. We'll see you then.